So, guys, now we've found a planet which we wanted to mine at. Found a ring which is sustainable with materials that we want. When you first come into a system, you use the system map like I did there. Found a planet with rings on. In this specific system, there are sort of at least more, three more planets with rings on. So we're gonna explore the first one here. For the mango, you got to have. Let's see, we gotta have the surface scanner. There we go. When you first enter a system you've never been to, you're gonna have to scan planet. First of all, I'm gonna start with getting close to the planet. All right. I have the surface scanner. On your fire groups. And I just assume that you guys know what a fire group is. Because you've been playing this game in a bit and you're gonna do mining now, right? So you have fire groups where you set up your specific stuff. Or like mining tools, large seismic charge launchers, mining lasers, limpet controllers, and all that. I'm not gonna cover that much basic of the game. Because I guess most of you guys actually know how to do this by now. Uh, so we're coming in closer here to the planet. See here we have a planet with a ring. I'm going to stop a bit closer so I can actually scan the ring. Bear with me guys, I don't do mining as much so might not be the first successful thing here. Let's see, we stop completely over the ring. We enter surface scanning mode and we just fire some limpets. Sorry, probes. Not limpets. Okay, so now I did a surface scan. Wait, I didn't do a surface scan of the inner ring. So, this is what I was trying to explain. Here we go. All the rings are scanned now. Scan. What's that? This is going to tell me. There you got like Serenity Byte. I call it Serenity Byte. I don't, it's not called that, right? I call it Serenity Byte just because I want to. Okay, so let's say that we go to the Alexandrite hotspot, right? You don't, you don't want to crash into the spot, I'm just saying. You don't want to crash. That's that's my job, guys. Don't take that away from me. <laughs> Kidding. Uh, okay, so we're going to the hotspot, right? I'm going to use the... Let's see, just let get me into the hotspot. have to bear with me guys the game takes a little while sometimes to actually get there and I'm good at crashing and stuff I guess you're gonna notice that in a second here try not to go too fast I'm usually really good at just crashing into it getting hull integrity a bit down and yeah there we go I did it shit that's not how that's not how to do it so guys now you're in an asteroid field, and this is how an asteroid field looks in the game. And you remember what kind of hotspot we jumped into, right? Alexandrite. Every time when you jump into a hotspot, always let the ships scan you that are there. There's always going to be NPC ships in this particular mining field. Every mining field has some kind of bandits or a 40 or something. Always let them scan you, like they're doing now. Right. <clears throat> and they're getting away. So what I'm going to do now, guys, that is that I'm going to scan like this. Just to see if I can find anything interesting. 
did find something interesting. Let's see here. Now we come to the most basic pocket reference. Pick an asteroid. Doesn't really matter which asteroid. You have your prospector set to your fire group, which looks like this. And the fire group, what they basically do, that allows you to like shoot on specific uh, weapons that you want to use. When it comes to mining right now, we are not going to care about all these weapons and stuff here. What we're going to go through is this. I have my specific fire groups for prospector, collector limpets, and my mining lasers. My mining lasers are set specifically on fire group 1, just so I can like, fire my mining laser and the collector at the same time. What this is going to do is that when it's mined, the collector is instantly going to go uh, shoot out the limpet. The limpet is going to collect the ore, bring it back to your ship. And that is another thing. You need to have your cargo scoop out. Because that's how you get your ore into the ship. The cargo scoop on the anaconda is at the front here. That is where the limpet is going to drop off the cargo. So we start with firing a prospector, right? There we go. It's fired. Mark it. Let it get to the asteroid. I'm a bit far away, I see. I'm gonna go a bit closer. <clears throat> okay, so this protect particular asteroid, asteroid scan has hydrogen peroxide, tritium, and water. What you want to do now is get in range so your mining lasers can actually like, I would say attack the asteroid, but that's the wrong word, but bear with me. Alright, so we start off the mining process here. There we go. Have your pips to weapons. And what you see here, that those are limpets. I mine the asteroid with the lasers. And it's going out... Okay, now I have the particular thing that I don't have set up. Okay, it's collecting. So, you have the refinery on your second here. Under what is called your ship cargo. I only have two limpets at the moment, right? It picked up nothing because I don't have it set up. What you want to do then, if it's not picking up that particular thing... You want to go into, let's see here, I'm just going to vent everything. You want to go into your left side panel. Put the contacts, go to your limpet collector, and then, then select it, right? It says there is nothing picked up. Under these limpet collectors, you see I fired a couple of them. It's going to say the fragments. And that's what the limpets are going to pick up. I have it set to like removed right now. So it doesn't pick up these kind of things because it's not worth anything. But just for demonstration purposes, guys. I'm going to do this. See the limpets? They just went for the fragments right away. What they're doing is they're shoving it into my cargo hold. Like that can do more here. And I'm going to pick up some more of those fragments. And they're going to die off also. So always stuck up on a lot of limpets. When it comes to mining. That's like the number one rule. And that's why you need a lot of cargo racks in your ship. Alright. So right now. I don't have any limpets left, because I was just doing it for demonstration purposes. I can, of course, produce more limpets if I want to. Uh, if I can get to the right menu. There we go. Synthesis. 
what you want to do here is produce limpets and I'm going right past it and that is what you can do on the go but you need these specific materials which is going to be iron and nickel so at the moment I can do seven more limpets just to fill up my hole so that's like the basic when it comes to how to mine from an asteroid and that's and what I was doing was laser mining that's just a basic thing and now I'm just wasting limpets here but you get like the process how to do it guys and I'm scanning the asteroid all over again guys um you have to bear with me this is my first YouTube video I have never done anything like this uh, but if you feel like I missed something didn't explain it correctly we just want more of this kind of content I'm gonna let you guys write in the comments say what I could have done better what I missed if you learned something if this was helpful and uh, yeah Press the follow button on the channel also if you want more of this kind of content. But guys, don't forget to comment. It's going to help me a lot because this is going to be my first YouTube video on Elite when it comes to mining. So I hope to see you guys. That you like this. And thank you so much for watching. And stay safe guys.